Hey everyone, it's Intel here. So for the past few months, I have been absolutely grinding Bedwars on my Twitch. Links in the description, by the way. But I've been putting in a ton of effort to get better at Bedwars, and it's been paying off. If you look at my stats for the past week, I have a 12.5 FKDR on solo Bedwars, all of which I've gotten live streaming on Twitch, which I think is pretty good. So in this video, I'm gonna share 10 tips and tricks that I personally use to help win my Bedwars games. These range from quality of life tricks to super helpful tips that you need for your gameplay. Also, make sure to check out my new limited time Lunar Client cloak, links in the description. But with that being said, let's get right into the video. If you have blocks, you can perform what I like to call a double jump, which lets you jump three blocks high. Double jumps are really useful and you can use them to save time, for example double jumping to mid on lighthouse, or double jumping to mid on playground. You can also double jump to avoid block traps by other players. Block trapping players is an insanely useful way to combo them and to kill them when you're at low HP. One of my favorite ways to do this recently is by extending blocks from their bed defense and then placing another block right next to the blocks that you just placed, creating a corner. As you can see, this can be really useful to combo other players. Dude, the OP block placement! The OP block placement works every single time. Works every single time. Uh-oh. This is not good. Still got him regardless. This doesn't only work on bed defenses, you can do this pretty much anywhere. On the topic of block trapping, I find that instead of running straight into a block after you place it, it's usually a lot better to let go of W for a brief moment as you place the block. This helps to prevent you from running into the block right after you place it and block trapping yourself by accident. That was a good block placement. Another good block placement. See if I can... Dude. I just flawless that guy, just with pure block placement alone. Apollo is one of my favorite maps to play on, and one of the things that you can do to increase the chances of success for killing your first rush is instead of bridging and dropping off directly at the diamond gen, bridge out a little more until you're above the diamond gen and drop off there. This is really helpful because if someone is rushing at the same time as you, having the high ground on your opponent does give you a pretty big advantage while you're fighting the other player. You can even abuse the tower to create a little head hitter for yourself. On certain maps, you can really easily spawn trap people, which can give you time to break their bed, heal yourself, or combo them. You can do this on Lighthouse, and Crypt. As tapping in Bedwars can be super powerful, and when timed right, you can deal an insane amount of knockback to another player, throwing them into the void. The best way to time it is by hitting a player and then S tapping them on your second hit, which will launch them back. I have a guide on how to S tap that I'll leave in the description for you to watch. Dude, S tapping like that? Look how much knockback it dealt to the guy to hit him into the void. On slow iron maps, if you're 12 or 16 rushing, with the first four iron that you get, you can buy 16 blocks to start your bridge and build yourself a quick wool bed defense if you want, and then go back to your generator to collect all the iron that you need to finish your bridge, instead of waiting for 12 or 16 iron to start your rush. This helps you save a little bit of time getting to your first rush, which can be crucial if you're going against someone who's really sweaty. If you're on a narrow ledge and there's a player above you who's going to jump on you and hit you off, if you time holding W and sprinting forward as they're about to hit you, if done right, you won't take a lot of knockback which can help you survive and win the fight. If you walk up to a ladder, hold shift, and then right click the ladder while holding a block, you'll place a block behind you. You can abuse this in bridge fights to take no knockback against the player that you're fighting. On the map Acropolis, after you take out your first rush, you'll then want to bridge out and get diamonds for upgrades. What's cool about the map Acropolis is that both diamond generators on your side of the map are within walking distance from each other. After my first rush, if nobody else is rushing me, I'll collect both diamond generators and get 7 diamonds. Sometimes, if I finish my first rush really fast and the diamond generators are still spawning diamonds, I'll get an emerald or two as well while they're spawning. And with the 7 diamonds, once you go back to a base, you can get sharpness, pro, and mining fatigue at the very start of the game. Being this stacked on enchant chance at the very start after you finish your first rush is really helpful for the rest of the game. And those are my 10 tips and tricks to help you win your Bedwars games. I'm considering I'm making this a series, so if you guys want to see 10 more Bedwars tips, then make sure to leave a like on the video. Once again, check out my Lunar Client Cloak at the store if you want to help support me, but with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.